Okay, yesterday I started the walk, you can see the side of the hill there, from the other end. There's a little car park there. Uh, walked up to where the Chudich track takes off over the hill, or around the hill, and um, my camera went into time-lapse mode, and so everything was super duper fast and didn't work until I got up to the uh, water hole, the fire water hole, and then everything went back to video again. And then, you can't see it through there, but um, when I came back down Nanga Road, the battery ran out. So I've come back today to do the first bit and this is the last bit. Um, but from the uh, start of the actual track, I actually started from somewhere else yesterday. But it's still a loop. So there you go. That's the uh, board there. Chudich Walk Trail. They reckon it's seven kilometers return if you did the actual track. Um, the walk I'm doing today is about 5Ks. Well, not today, I did yesterday 5Ks. And we follow the uh, purple arrows. Now down there you can see a purple arrow on the signpost, which is where we're going to start walking to. There are other walks. You've got the King Jarrah Walk, the Nanga Brook Walk Trail, and Island Pool Walk Trail. Now the Island Pool one is actually on the other side of the river here. And there is a car park there, so you can, um, it's just a walk through the forest. The one we're doing today, we're going to go around there, up, across, and back down. <clears throat> I'm not going to do the King Jarrah walk today, because it's the afternoon, and I'm going to run out of daylight. Um, and it's also, what, 18 k's, which is a bit more than what I can handle at the moment. Anyway, we will um, go. Yesterday, almost every one of those camp bays in here was um, had someone in it. Now, if you did park in one of these bays, these ones, you're not supposed to have campfires in, so someone's got some firewood there. They must have had one of those portable fireplaces. Down over here, there's some barbecues, and beyond that, there are some big fire pits. Now, if you wanted to keep going, there is a like a heritage trail that goes down through here, and they have these boards, and they tell you a bit, a bit about the place and what happened around here. But for us, we're going to cross the creek on the new bridge. There is an old bridge up there, that new one's there, and we're going to keep following the purple arrows um, until we get about halfway around. Yeah, that goes down to the old wooden bridge there. <clears throat> okay, this track here. And now we should turn right, or we'll turn right. And we will follow this track along a bit further down on the other side of the Nanga campsites. You'll see when we get to the corner. Um, we turn left and veer off. It's actually an old um, train line, believe it or not. Looks a bit steep there, but um, it's where the woodcutting trains went out into the forest. Because Nanga Mill is actually an old mill. And it was burnt down. Uh, burnt down in 1962, I think it was. Obviously, when you do the Chudich walk, you go out and back along that way. But the loop walk that we're doing we are going to go around this hill, <laughs> come back down the other side, and we'll actually come back down this track here from Nanga Road. <clears throat> that doesn't look too good. No, it's just a sun glare. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Try and shop that out. There you go. That's the track we came up. And you can see the little blue arrow, purple arrow. That's a very old staircase. That'll take you down to um, the Nanga camp. I don't know if you'll see it down there or not. It's very quiet down there because there's hardly anyone around. There's someone just down there. 
but that area down in there is the um, it's not free camping you still have to pay to get there but you've just got to go in and get your best spot first in and um, this is where we're going to go <clears throat> that's the way we're going to go and that way it takes you back down to the um, uh, the waterfalls and the, the campsite down the bottom and I don't know who's game enough to try and go that looks like they're in the wet it would be pretty slippery up there but yep that road down there left of the uh, purple arrow and we'll keep going through there okay all right coming up to this corner if we went straight ahead going down You'd uh, be following the Mundabidi Trail, my uh, mountain bike trail, and from here it goes down into the valley and up and down and up and down and up and down and all over the place. The Chudich Walk actually goes around here to the left. It is an old train line. You can see it's going up an incline there, but it's relatively flat most of the way, and it's um, quite a nice open trail. Nice being out in the forest. Can't hear any noise at all other than the wind and the birds so yep we're gonna walk this way we're almost up to the little um track uh, actually you can see a, there's a mountain bike trail down going down through there actually comes up over the water point you can see the, the bike track going doing doing down the valley there's a bit of water in there They usually um, had a frog, which is, means it's healthy, I guess. Um, yeah, they usually have these things dug into the ground around the place so that if there's a bushfire, they can uh, come and suck up some water. We'll keep walking up this way. Now, ooh, sunlight. There you go. Let's get out of that tree. No. Up here a little bit further on the left. According to the map, there's a little side track, so we'll uh, have a look for that and uh, follow that around. If we don't don't want to follow that, you just keep going ahead, and you'll come up to a, uh, I think it's a T junction, and turn left. Okay, we've come up that track here from that little uh, water point, which is just down the road there. That's where I was going to go. According to the map, that's a, uh, a trail that goes through and cuts the corner off. But, um, yeah, it's um, not there. Well, it probably is there, but you'll uh, end up having to scrub bash your way through the trail. So I'm going to stick to the main track, which is like that. And uh, go up to the uh, corner, next corner, and uh, turn left. All right, we've just come down there. Going this way. I know the purple sign for the Chudich walk goes that way, straight on. But my little short walk will um, go up this track here. This will, according to the map, <laughs> take us up over this hill and then down onto Nanga Road. And then on Nanga Road we just turn left and walk back to the campsite. So it's um, not a hard walk. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, we'll um, head up the track there, it looks a bit um, lumpy up there actually, let's have a look. <clears throat> Looking into the sunlight, no it's not too bad. supposed to be a main fire break. We've got these tracks all the way through and they're part of the uh, mountain bike courses but the one we want just goes there. It basically goes straight up over the hill and then down into the um, Nanga Road. So this is probably the steepest part of the walk but um, easy to do. All right keep on going. All right we've just come up over the top of that hill there towards the gate and the uh, main roads just there and I found an interesting sign for you uh, 
Um, on the other side of that hill there is the uh, one of the mine sites, but I think it closed. It's been revegetated and um, now now mining further south. Anyway, for us, down to that road there, chuck a left and um, walk our way back down to Nanga Camp. Now this is Nanga Road, you can hear the cars just went past me. It is a um, the main road, so just be careful of cars. Um, they do come whizzing along here. Normally you can hear them coming miles away. Alright, walking down the hill, Nanga Road. You'll come up to this gate here, which is just before the um, bike sign. Uh, we'll turn left here and walk down this track. That'll take us back into the... Um, uh, car park. Here comes the car. <clears throat> As you can see, not a lot of room on the roads. So if you're walking down Nanga Road, just be prepared to get off the road. Especially if you've got kids. Probably not really the best um, part of the walk for kids. You can go a little bit further on. Oh, I'm puffing. And there's some steps that go down to the left and up to the right. Follow the steps down and they will take you back in as well. Or you can continue right down to the bottom, follow the road in, and just on the other side of the creek, there's a little walkway that goes along the edge of the creek there. But um, we'll just jump the fence, the gate. <clears throat> Across the old original Nanga Road and keep on going. There you go, believe it or not, that was the old road up there going down through there before they made the uh, new Bitchman Road. Quite a nice little road actually, it would have been a good drive. Anyway, and this is uh, goes back to the car park. You can see the little cutting there on the uh, left, or on the right, sorry. The old train line used to come through here. Going into the mill. Going down that sort of cutting, it's all been blocked off with logs and things. But that's where the railway line used to go when the wood cutting days. And we're now on the train track. Further on, you can still see in the ground where the uh, sleepers used to be. You can sort of see a, a dip in the ground where the sleepers have rotted out. That's um, up, in, up after the first corner. Now, I'm not going to walk this one again, but... Um, oh, that's the other track that comes out from the uh, steps. A bit overgrown. Not too bad. Anyway, get back to the car. Now this is all paid camping area, this area. <clears throat> a little bit further on. It is um, like a free-for-all basically. You're still paid camp, but it's uh, first in first serve for the best spots. Over there, that's one of the little fireplaces there behind those big logs. <clears throat> So you get your um, campsite, you pay for it prepaid, come down and um, put your tent up or caravan. <laughs> 